Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I wanna to show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat data from an Android device, in this case I have the Redmi 9, to an iPhone 7 Plus. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a software. This software is called Dr. Phone. I think a lot of people know about it, and it's made by the company Wondershare. So Wondershare was kind enough to provide me that software for me to do this tutorial. So let's start. A couple of things, guys, that I want to tell you. Uh, I'm going to use original cables because we need to connect both devices to the computer. In this case, I'm using a MacBook Air with the M1 chip. On the iPhone, I have iOS 15.2, which is the latest version. I have Android 11 with MIUI 12. You can see that I have MIUI version 12.5.3 and I have Android version 11, okay? I want to show you that on my WhatsApp here on the Android, I have a lot of chats. On each chat, I have pictures and I have videos. I have PDF files. I have contacts and I actually uploaded different files so you know that you can still transfer all of this like mp3 files, excel files, word document, powerpoint, all of the stuff, right? Another thing I want to show you guys is my whole chat history. It's only 118 megs. In your case is going to be gigs. I heard about people having 10, 20, 50 gigs of data. But I want to tell you that the more data you have, the more time it's going to take. So I recommend you to go through your WhatsApp chat history and try to delete all the videos, all the stuff that you don't really need, you know? The first thing we need to do is we need to define what software you're going to use from this uh, suite of software from Wondershare Dr. Phone. In my case, I just need WhatsApp transfer. So I'm going to click. This is the Wondershare Dr. Phone interface. And here you can see that you can not only transfer WhatsApp data, but also WhatsApp Business, Line, Viber, Kick, and WeChat. If you have any of these apps, you can do the transfer from one device to the other one without any problem with this software. But in this case, we're just gonna use the regular WhatsApp transfer and we're gonna click here, transfer WhatsApp messages. So here you have the source and here you have the destination. This is really important for you to identify the source and the destination. In this case, my source is gonna be the Android device where I have all the chats. So let me connect it to the computer. So what I need to do is I need to turn on developer options. How can I turn on developer options? You're going to go to settings and about the phone. This MIUI version, you're going to tap it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. You are now a developer. That's what you want to see. You can go back here and search for developer options. Just type DEV and you're going to find developer options. So you click here. And what you need to enable is USB debugging, all right? So look for USB debugging, which is right here. USB debugging, turn it on or enable it. So, you know, select I'm aware of this and click OK. And that's it. USB debugging is on, OK? And now, once you see this pop up, allow USB debugging, make sure you click here, always allow from this computer and click OK. OK, so now we're good. And you can see the software already identify the source at the Xiaomi M204J19C, which at the end is just the Redmi 9. So now that I have the source, let's connect the destination. The destination is going to be my iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, I'm going to connect it to the computer using the original cable. And let's see what happened. You say immediately it says connected, but usually you should see a pop up saying trust this computer and you're going to click trust. And now you're going to see it connected, right? So as you can see here, guys, we have the perfect setup, uh, the source being the Redmi 9 and the destination being the iPhone 7 Plus. So we are pretty much ready to continue. We're gonna put both devices here. We're gonna click transfer. Please confirm whether you keep the existing WhatsApp data on iPhone. Another thing, guys, on the iPhone, you need to have WhatsApp, but I want you to have it just like that. Don't configure the WhatsApp yet. Just install it and have it like that, all right? Since we're gonna move all my WhatsApp data from the Android to the iPhone, I really don't need any backup of WhatsApp iPhone here. So that's why I'm gonna select, no, the transfer speed will be faster, right? Okay, so I'm gonna click next. This is important, right? In order to continue, guys, we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to chats, click on chat backup, and you're gonna disable backup to Google Drive, okay? Usually people have it daily or weekly, in this case, we're gonna put it as never, all right? Make sure you have never and then do a backup. If you select never and then you do a backup, the backup is gonna stay on the phone and that's what we want. And now we're gonna click next. 
And this is important. Please confirm whether you keep the existing WhatsApp data on iPhone or not. I'm just going to select not because it's faster. I'm going to click next. Now it says is restoring your iPhone. Please wait. Check the app and backup data. And look at this, guys. I'm getting this um, pop up. It says install via USB. You're going to select remember my choice and you're going to click install. It's installing WhatsApp on a specific version, 100%. Activate the app and restore backup. Now, look at this. To restore from backup, now look at this, guys. Ah, okay. So I have to do this. On the apps, I need to click WhatsApp and I need to give it a permission. Gonna look for WhatsApp here. Okay, WhatsApp, permissions. Click on files and media, and you're gonna click allow management of all files. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this, and we're gonna click agree and continue. We need to uh, verify our phone number. In my case, is I'm here in Peru, and my number is 972-118-660. I'm gonna click next. To easily verify your number, WhatsApp can automatically detect your verification code. Continue. Allow WhatsApp, allow. Okay, so I'm gonna get the confirmation code and WhatsApp is gonna detect it automatically. Here, I can click just next. Look at this, you recently connected. Please wait six hours, 53 minutes before trying again. But also there's an option that says call me. So I'm gonna click this option to call me. They're gonna give me a, a pin code over the phone. Okay, I'm gonna answer. Your verification code is 659304. All right, so I verify it. And uh, I'm, I have the backup and I'm gonna click restore. So now it's restoring the backup that I did on the phone. And look at this, 79 messages restore. But I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna put my name here. And I have my files here. We can see that we did everything correctly. We're gonna click next. Now it says activate the app and restore backup. Back up to computer. You can see here the percentage, you know? Back up to computer. Please log in with any WhatsApp account on the target device first. Otherwise, the restored data on the phone will be empty. So I'm gonna log into my WhatsApp here on the iPhone. And I need to put the country code. The country code is Peru, which is 51. And the phone number is 972-118-660. And I click done. It says retrieving credentials. Number confirmation, yes. It's gonna verify it. And look at this, it said you recently connected. Please try again in six hours, 49 minutes. Okay. But there's an option also that says call me. So I'm gonna use that option, call me. Since I still have the SIM card on my Android, I'm gonna get the phone call here, all right? So call me, they're gonna call the Android and they're gonna give me a code. Here's the call, so I'm gonna answer it and they're gonna give one, me the verification zero. code. Your verification code is 1006890. Zero, zero, Your verification code is Okay, so I verify the WhatsApp. No backup found, skip restore, which I'm gonna do. Okay. I'm gonna put Alex, I'm gonna get that done. Uh, WhatsApp would like to access your contacts, okay. And now I'm gonna click here. Login successful, continue. And this is important guys, find my, I need to turn it off. How can I do that? I need to go to my account on, on the iPhone and find mine. You see how find mine is on? I'm gonna select it, find mine, I'm gonna disable it. They're gonna ask me for my password. I'm gonna click turn off. Turning off, find my iPhone, okay? So once I do that, it says here, find mine. Okay, I'm gonna click try again. Okay, 
Now it says restore. Look, the iPhone says restore in progress. So that restore is going on right now. Your iPhone is going to turn off for a little bit. And now it's back on. Look, the restore, it says 100%. So everything 100% looks like we are good. But we are waiting for here, guys. We are not going to disconnect anything until we are sure we have all our data here. And actually, right now. Okay, so we are good. We are going to go to the WhatsApp right away. And look at this. I don't have, look, I have all these phone numbers. I don't have the contacts, but this is really simple to, to fix. You just go to settings and you're gonna add your Google account, all right? And you're gonna find for mail, click accounts, and you're gonna add a new account. The account you're gonna add is gonna be the Google account. And once you add this Google account, you're gonna be able to see all your contacts. You're gonna log in with the same account that you back up your WhatsApp. In my case, it's this one. I'm gonna click save. And now I have my Gmail account here with all my contacts. And I'm sure that this is gonna work now. You see all the contacts, they pretty much connect to my the contacts that I have on my Google account, all right? But this is the most important part. We're gonna check if we have all the files. I mean, you can see that we have all the chat history, right? But if we go inside, we're gonna see that we have all the pictures and all the videos. Let me see audio. You know, so audio is good. Okay, so the pictures also good. Uh, let me see a video here. The video is good. All right. And the same with all of this stuff, you know, all of these uh, chats that I have with different people. Everything move perfectly, guys. Everything moved perfectly. So I didn't miss anything. All right. I didn't miss anything. And that's the whole purpose of this software, to be able to transfer all your WhatsApp chat history from an Android device to the iPhone. If you regret moving to iPhone, you want to move back to Android, you can still do it, but you need to verify the account again with the phone number, right? All the files that I have on my Android, they're gonna still be here. But now on my iPhone, I have all my WhatsApp chat history. And now I'm ready to move my SIM card from this device to this device. So only at the end is that you move your SIM card. What I will do right after finishing this is I will change my settings. I will go to settings, I'll go to chats, and immediately I'll go to chat backup and I do a backup right now because this backup is going to happen on iCloud. And also the auto backup, I will put daily. I will include videos. I will do the backup right now. And also guys on security settings, you see account, I will turn on the two-step verification. Enabled. I will put something, you know, because this is really important. An email, you know, you can do this as a protection because... A lot of people are stealing WhatsApp accounts. And if you don't have the two-step verification, it's going to be easier for the hackers to hack your account. All right. So I'm going to put this. I'm going to confirm my email. I know that it takes time, but that's what you need to do. Enabling two-step verification. And that's it. Okay. I have my pin. I have my backup. And everything is perfect, guys. I have all my chats. So this software was 100% worth it. You know, now you can, I can click OK. That's perfect. You can disconnect your devices and that's it. Guys, I was able to move all my WhatsApp chat history from a Redmi 9 to an iPhone 7 Plus. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can get this software. It's not free, guys. You need to pay, but I think it's worth it. Thank you and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.